It is game day for the Spurs. who will face the Timberwolves tonight at the AT&T Center to close out their five-game homestand and without the services of LaMarcus Aldridge, who's dealing with a right hip flexor soreness. After losing two straight at home to Memphis, the Spurs will look back to get back into the win column tonight. I mean, we just focused on what we're trying to do better. We, we watched the film. We um, looked at um, the mistakes we're making, and I think um, we're all aware that this is a, a long season, so we're, we're still in a, a very early stage. So we're trying to get better as a team. We're not really looking at these two losses individually. Like It's more about the, the big picture here, um, trying to get better, trying to get more wins um, in the long run until the next play. Here's the matchup. Tip is set for 7.30. Minnesota is down at least three players, including Carl Anthony Towns. To help celebrate Black History Month, we got to sit down with David Robinson and one of his sons, David Jr., to visit with them about the Robinson family legacy, especially off the court. The Carver Academy, started by David and his wife Valerie back in 2001, is now known as Idea Carver College Prep, going from a private school to a public charter school in 2012, and now with multiple campuses all around San Antonio. The Carver campus has grown from the original site to a much bigger building across the street that houses the David Robinson Museum to inspire all of their students to see what they can achieve. Here's Greg Simmons with the Admiral. Aside from your family, is this your pride and joy for you and Valerie both? Uh, one of them, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously being with the Spurs, you, 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 that's got to be a big pride and joy. I mean, to have 25 years of ridiculous success that we've had in, in a small market, it defies all odds. Uh, but, but Carver Academy and IDEA also defies all odds. I mean, when you think about the numbers that are out there and, you know, you, you know on one side of the highway, 75% of those kids are going to college and on the other side, 10%. So to, to, to defy those kind of odds and say, we're sending 100% of these kids to college and, and that's a phenomenal thing. So it is one of, one of my life's exciting, most exciting works. Thanks to this awesome access, we've decided to share this with you all month long on Instant Replay. David talks about his idols growing up as a black American, as well as the David Robinson Fellowship that has funded a college education for 10 deserving students a year. His son David tells us why he has returned to San Antonio to help carry on the family legacy that has helped thousands of students get a chance to go to college. In boys high school basketball last night, Antonian is rolling right along. The number one team in the city won at San Antonio Christian, 78-35, improving to 24-1 overall, 3-0 in district. Gavino Ramos and Santiago Ochoa each scored 18 points, while Brian Armstrong had 16. And it's still high school and girls basketball. The Knights beat Clemens 75-37, moving to 20-3 this season, 11-1 in district 27-6A. Bria McClure led Steele with a game high 17 points. Always love to hear from David Robinson. And uh, you're a little jealous of him, right? Because he doesn't have gray hair. You he doesn't have gray. I, I yeah. know. Looking good, he man. He looks real good. I hadn't aged a bit. <laughs> I still remember the day he stepped off the plane at the airport. Yeah. The first time he ever came to San Antonio after they drafted That'd him. That'd be a great moment. That was an awesome You've day. You've been around a long <laughs> Hey, on the serious side, speaking of Valentine's, Soldiers Angels, a wonderful organization. They're making sure that all of our former and active duty military have a nice Valentine's message. And there's a roundup of the top five foods while you watch the game. We're gonna let you know what those are. So see if your favorite game time watching snack made the list. Cookie? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Fine. <laughs> that a whole lot more at SA Live if we don't get penalized again. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now on KSAT.com, you can take a look at this. A local woman, Beatrice Betty Pacheco, saw those viral memes that featured Bernie Sanders, and then they inspired her to make a quilt. It's more than just a fun craft project. It's all for a good cause. She has listed her quilt on eBay. She told us she plans to donate the proceeds to the San Antonio Food Bank. We have a link to the eBay, eBay listing if you're interested in bidding. Just go to KSAT.com. That's a classic right there. Very cool. All right, uh, we are sitting at 70 right now, 74 this afternoon. A couple warm days. Uh, we will start off with cloud cover tomorrow morning. Then it turns windy tomorrow night into Friday morning with the front coming through. Cooler on Friday. Pretty nice on Saturday. we got another week front Sunday. And uh, the weather gets a little more active, it looks like, as we get into next week. One thing about a Super Bowl, you can still have food. 
may not have a lot of people, but you can still have food, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to find out today, what kind of food to have. All kinds of fun stuff at SA Live. When does it start? Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Yeah, yeah. You caught it! <laughs> hey! Oh, that bounces pretty good. <laughs> hey, hello and happy Wednesday. Yep, it is the big game coming up on Sunday. And you know what? DoorDash just released a list of their top order snacks on football Sundays this past season. Yeah, so see if your favorite snack is on this list. Number five, pepperoni pizza. Ooh, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, number four, Caesar salad. I guess you gotta have something interesting. Really? With the pizza. Yeah. I guess. Okay, maybe that comes with the, the, the pizza and it won by default. It made the list by default. Number three, chips and salsa. Yeah. Number two, boneless wings. And number one, you're gonna have to wait on that mm -hmm. one just a little bit. Find out. Stick around. We will tell you at the end of the show and uh, see what actually beat out. What? What beat out? Huh? You have to find oh, out. Did you read that far ahead? Apparently not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read the end of the book before we hit all the other chapters. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, speaking of snacks, if you had to pick just one, would it be pizza or wings? Don't think. Answer. For, for the Don't think. Game? Wings. Okay. <laughs> I know you thought. Mine's pizza. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I had to choose between the two, it'd be pizza. But if it's for watching the, the game, it's got to be wings with blue cheese. Okay, yeah, so much, more so much explanation. Stuff. Okay, just let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. It was a simple question. Pizza or wings? I, I said <laughs> you still couldn't choose. Let us know at SA Live Case out and we'll see which one wins out later on in the show. Speaking of My snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, stop. Okay, don't throw the penalty flag. No. Okay. <laughs> The biggest football game of the year is this weekend, right, Mike? <laughs> yes, indeed it is. And you want pizza? We already went there. <laughs> Stephanie Pena Frost is here from the Princess and the, the Monkey, which reminds me of college anyway. Uh, and we've got some great snacks. Help yes. keep us in line, Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, it's a hard, it's a hard job. I don't think I'm up for it. <laughs> so you can do it. <laughs> what are we making today? And the close-up shot is on the cookies right in front awesome. of me. We'll get started over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do these football-shaped oatmeal cream pie cookies. And it's just the oatmeal cream pies that we all grew up with. Right. It's a football-shaped cookie cutter that I got from the, from the local craft store. They sell them in a football-themed set. You press it down on the cookie, press it really hard, you might have to use your hands to kind of, uh, kind of break it up, break it okay. off, and then push it out. Oh yeah. Yes. All right. And then you save the scraps for later, of course. Or eat them or now. Or eat them now. <laughs> and so, then <laughs> it makes a little smile. Oh, it's a little smile, ladies. ladies. <laughs> so not <laughs> or a, or a mustache if you hold it the other way. It's a cookie. No, 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 no. like upside down. <laughs> no, 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 you don't do it like that. And then it's like, like a little mustache. No, I'm a, I'm a handlebar mustache. Yeah. I just want to see if you okay. do it. And then you and take you the did. icing and you make the little football. Okay, I'll eat it. I'm... I think he needs a penalty flag. <laughs> we got two. <laughs> and just squeeze it. Yeah, so the line, uh, really simple. It's a it's an easy thing for uh, to do with the kids, and plus you get the fun to eat them. And, and then the next thing we're going to do... Oh. And something you said that's usually in your, maybe in your pantry. Yes, exactly, too. exactly. And the next thing we're going to do, of course, is what we all love um, about about you know these get-togethers are the seven layer dip i yep. love them but uh this is great for social distancing right, right because now, now everyone can double dip right exactly so. yes yeah, so, so you eliminate the double dip and you just build the uh, the seven layer dip you could do it for your guests ahead of time however you like to do it whatever whatever kind of uh, uh order you like i like to start off with the beans of course mm -hmm. and you just kind of layer it layer it from there you know, even without the whole social distancing thing i love this because every yes. scoop is going to be every scoop is, is separate when you, yeah when you take it from the big you know 13 by 9 platter and do it on there and then it gets messed up it gets all mixed up yeah, and, and then you're not getting the layers in your, your it, scoop exactly so. and then you're left with something that nobody wants at the end well this way you have it all together and i bought everything from h-e-b it's a pre-made guacamole the pre-made diced up uh, peppers then of course you have the 
the salsa and the chips. They make it super simple and super easy for you. You don't even have to cook anything. You just have to assemble it. And, and, if, you, and if you wanted to, you could have the different dishes laid out and people could assemble exactly. their own. Exactly. If they didn't want uh, olives in there, leave them off or something. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So they, they, they could build their own or you could build them all for them, have it all set up. They just pick it up and, and go. There okay. we go. There you go. What next? <laughs> So, and then of course, our little game, our fun little game. Uh, these are coffee cups. I just regular coffee it. cups, and I love it because of the because the, the texture. And those are just the regular tumblers. You can find them um, online or at the store. And you, you just make the little football, and it's something that you can sit there and see who's the better aim at throwing the football, and who. Can, it's a fun little halftime game to have, or a fun little you know, commercial time. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. You are, it's the Picasso of and, footballs. And, and, and you and just found these on Amazon, right? I found these on Amazon, I yes. That. Yeah, and you can And then also fun. just put your name on the cup too. Oh, so you exactly. Can so, okay. And uh, these paint pins, they wash right off of those plastic ones too, so you can always wash it off later. All right. So, and so this you is gonna, the game we play. Which, which set am I going for? Either way, either way. Just let me. Okay. Yeah. Ready? You ready, Ted? Okay. Way to go! Were you practicing? Congratulations! Okay. okay. No, no, no. So, yeah. so it's just you know, and then of course we have our little penalty flags no that. Uh, well, you got it in the pile. You got it in the pile. <laughs> it made the pile. <laughs> and also, the other now, other than the ones we made, you said this was like a little kit that came on what yes. Amazon. Yes. So on Amazon, um, I looked up big game party supplies, and it came up with these fun little football uh, plates, the the touchdown cups. And it came with uh, a tablecloth that looked like a football field. But this one was just one that I picked up at, at a local party party place. And I cut a piece off of it. And I made my own little little football field Look to put that. the cookies That's on. Perfect. So you can kind of do a whole bunch of stuff. It's all about being creative. Look at what you have. You know, just kind of make the most out of. Somebody can almost yeah. have their little lap tablecloth yeah. or something. Yeah, it's exactly. Right. Let people know how they can find you. So um, you can find me, of course, online on, on Facebook and social media and on Instagram. And then uh, I'm out at the Hebner Oaks Farmers Markets on, on most weekends, where I have all of my my crap stuff. But I'll have links and tips on how to do all these fun little tricks for the big game. All right. So the good news is Stephanie will be back in a yes. few minutes with some DIY ideas for. Valentine's Day, but for more information on Princess and the Monkey, just head to our website and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Okay, speaking of Valentine's Day, if you don't want to do the DIY and you want to support local, boy, we've got a place that's going to let them do the work for you. Yes, Thirsty, Aguas Frescas, 210 and Boozy and Baked are teaming up for some refreshing pairings that include some mama juice, but it's not what you're <laughs> drinking, it's what you're eating, right Jen? That's right, Fiona and Mike. We are here at Thirsty Aguas Frescas 210, and I am joined by Amanda Roberts. She owns Boozy and Baked, and her treats are just that she will explain, but you guys have a great partnership here, right? Yes, we do. We love teaming up with Thirsty, and we we just have a variety of things, and we are going to be teaming up for Valentine's and Galentine's Day, yes. having uh, different kind of bundles, if you will, okay. uh, to, to pair our products together. Which is so exciting because you're supporting two local businesses and you guys both have a fun twist, I want to say, <laughs> on the Argos Frescas, but let's talk about your sweets first. Awesome. Okay, so like this example here is our pink champagne cake. Mm -hmm. It's a full-size uh, five-layer cake and it is filled with pink champagne cake, pink mm. champagne buttercream, and it is actually in the frosting. So we do not lose alcohol content there and that kind of sets us apart from our competitors. We really enjoy being able to offer that and so it's fully in the buttercream. And that's why you say eat responsibly, right? Yeah, yeah so we kind of have a motto at Baked where we say just as you would never drink and drive, please don't eat and drive with our product. Yes. The alcohol is there. Got it. So tell me about these in the front. Those look gorgeous. Thank you. So this one here is actually um, our cupcake that gave us the start to the business. It's a dark chocolate and red wine, my personal two pairings that are mm. my favorite. Uh, the caramel vanilla bourbon is a really popular cupcake with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, and so that one is a French vanilla cake with a bourbon buttercream and caramel drizzle. Mm -hmm. And then the mini butt cake over there is actually a replica of our full size cake. Mm -hmm. And it has an additional champagne glaze on it as well. Gorgeous. And I like what you were telling me earlier about the bourbon because you have all kinds of different uh, liquor. So you have vodka, whiskey, bourbon. So it's yeah. not just the girly wines yes. and champagne. So yes. that's good to know, right? Yes, we have everything. Wine, champagne, tequila, vodka, whiskey. Everything, everything that you can all think the mama of in a juice. liquor store. 
it, it is in our shop too. So. Got it. And now we have to talk about these because uh, you. This is your favorite right here. That is my personal favorite. Go ahead and try this. Thirsty. It is his cucumber limonada. Mm. And let me tell you, Johnny is a mastermind oh with the agua fresca. That's so refreshing. <laughs> it's very refreshing. Non-alcoholic, by the way. It, 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 there's no alcohol in that, but let me tell you, they pair so well. So my recommendation with that is the Western Sun cucumber vodka to add to that, and okay. it is just absolutely delicious. And then you can get obviously a huge um, portion here if you'd like. I'm yes, gonna go ahead and try so your he, cake. He sells them by the 16 ounce pouches, the 32 ounce jugs, and they also now offer the gallons. So they, he has all kinds of flavors. Mm. So he, you know, berry, uh, coconut, um, horchatas. I mean, every single flavor as well. Like just like I do with my alcohol, mm -hmm. he does with all the different fruits and everything, and he makes them fresh here in the shop. I have to say, this is amazing. I'm going to go for the frosting now. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Mm. So good. Perfect. All right. And so you guys have some bundles. So if you want to support both businesses, they can go on your social media accounts, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. We have some bundles going on where you could pair some mini bundt cakes with um, so the pouches. You could pair uh, jumbo cupcakes with the jugs, or you can also go all out for your sweetheart and get a full-size cake um, with a gallon jug. Perfect. You can also come here. They're located off 281 in Isom near the airport. Again, that's Thirsty Aguas Frescas 210, and oftentimes they have boozy and baked products here. Delicious, I will say. Happy to be the taste tester today, <laughs> Amanda. Delicious, and thank you so much to you and to Thirsty. Guys, back to you. I don't know, I'm gonna take another bite. I'm sorry <laughs> you're missing out on this, by the way. <laughs> so mm. good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're tasty. happy to be the taste testers, too. Yeah. That was the Aguas Frescas, right? So yep. here are the bundles. You get two pink champagne mini bunt cakes, okay, with two 16 ounce aguas frescas for 20 bucks. Okay, okay, or you can get two jumbo red wine cupcakes or two jumbo vanilla caramel bourbon with two 32 ounce jugs for $35. Okay, or you get a full size pink champagne cake, like the one right here, with one gallon, okay, for $65. Now, the thirsty aguas fresca flavors include cherry coconut, berry limonada, and strawberry horchata. And these cupcakes, by the way, there's They're some heft heavy. to these things. I mean, gorgeous decoration on there, but I mean, there's a lot going on here and... Oh, heavy, full of flavor. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, okay. Excuse and the me. booze is in the frosting? Is that, is that, yeah. We'll find out. I, I, I can <laughs> taste it. <laughs> I have that, that palate. <laughs> Hey, that's a, oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah, there <laughs> it is. a great way to support locals. <laughs> Wait for it. Ooh, thank you, thank you for sending this over, Jim. Hey, still ahead on SA Live. You know some military members, they, some don't get anything for Valentine's Day. How you can make sure no soldier goes unloved. But first, it's hard to find the right gift for the man in your life sometimes. So, how about brewing his own beer to looking and smelling his best? We've got gifts both of you will love. That's next on SA Live. Oh my goodness gracious, it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous day out there. Hey, if you expect a great gift for Valentine's Day, um, well, you gotta you give be, one. <laughs> yeah, you, you better be given one as well, ladies. Yes. Today, we're tackling the gifts for the guys, and we've got some great ideas to make sure the man in your life, of course, gets something he'll really enjoy. So first step, if your guy has ever dreamed of opening his own brewery, then he'll love the Brew Firm Kit. It comes with all the ingredients for you to ferment and cap your own pint. So all you have to do is simply add sugar and water and then follow the instructions. Everything is included. It's under a hundred bucks and you can kind of find it. You can find it on Amazon. And the neat thing, I used to have a, a beer making kit years and years ago. Mm -hmm. It takes a couple of weeks to do, mm -hmm. but it's neat. I mean, right? you brew your own beer. Right? That's kind of fun. <laughs> Make hey, it work for it. <laughs> for the, the guys who like to keep it comfy, there's the Comfy Quarter Zip. Now we show you the original during the holidays and just when you thought a wearable blanket couldn't get any better, they improved it. They've added a zipper to make it easier to stay on and get out of all day long. So that's like a, it almost looks like a big... Almost like a 
like a snuggie, but it's not like a long, you know. <laughs> a hooded snuggie with arms. <laughs> right. So you can lounge there at home, of course, watch TV, play video games, things like that. <laughs> you know, I kind of like that thing. Yes. For those Netflix nights, yes. And it's under, I think it's under what? Under 50 bucks. For watching okay. the uh, Hallmark Christmas movies. In the, yes, in the <laughs> yes, exactly. There but you can go. wear that with your socks. Your My socks. socks yes. <laughs> yes, okay. So for the guys who of course love their alma mater, there's College Town Pint Glasses. This is from Well Told Designs. And it's a pair of 16 ounce College Town Map Pint Glasses, which feature the campus, streets, and neighborhoods of your favorite college town. And you could probably sit there and go, and kids, when I was in college, right here is where <laughs> I went to math class, and right here. <laughs> and here's where all the bars were. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she said it, I didn't, but I was thinking it. So, all right, for the guys who like to smell good, but don't want to smell like flowers, Outlaw makes body products for the cowboys and all of us. They have scents like leather. I always love that, that smell. Mm -hmm. Campfire. You smell like the smoke, like you've been down one on the campfire. Uh, pine forest and bourbon. <laughs> Don't go driving if you wear the bourbon cologne, because you know you get pulled over and you're, you're done right there. So. <laughs> okay, and of course, uh, it it also has the scent gunpowder. Well, I I really? just saw that right now. Gunpowder, oh, okay. sagebrush, and sandalwood. Hmm. Gunpowder? I, I, it says that. Gunpowder and campfire. Yes. If you were in the Sierra Nevada mountains. <laughs> You can you smell all woodsy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pine forest. <laughs> all right. Okay. So next is for the guys who like a stiff drink. There is the whiskey room gift basket. Okay. So they can definitely spruce up their man cave with this. All right. It comes with two tumblers, two coasters, a recycled bike chain bottle opener, a soy candle in a gunmetal tin, and a storage gift box. Okay. Our greenhouse, which is who this is by, perfects the art of gifting, of course, with this you know little chic option. I kind of like the bike chain. Uh, right? There. That's kind of cool. Kinda and it's cool eco-friendly. So. All right. And for the guys who like to cook, we have the terrazzo serving board. And this is nice because this is so you know, right up your alley. <laughs> and it actually says in there, if you want to serve some charcuterie on this, now you can flip it over. It's got the indentions in there for maybe your whiskey glass that you've gotten earlier or something. And uh, you can flip it over, use it as a cutting board. Being terrazzo, it would wash off nicely like that. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. You can serve your wings on there too if you want to. All right. Well, we hope you had some great ideas from that list. And for more information on all those products, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. But guys, right, just a nice card would make us happy, right? Isn't that what we always hear? Well, that's the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, still ahead on SA Live, even more gift ideas, this time for the little ones. How you can keep them busy and inspire their imagination with these really fun toys. And next, an easier way to see about getting braces. How you can get the smile you've always wanted with a few selfies. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Are you thinking about getting braces for your child or maybe yourself, but you just don't want to leave the safety of your home? Well, Celebrate Dental has you covered and they can give you free estimates and all you have to do is take a couple of selfies. Here to tell us more is Dr. David Ferguson. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good I'm doing very you. well. Okay, this a couple of selfies and you can get a free estimate. How does, how does this work? Yeah, it's it's one of those good things that's come from COVID. Uh, you know, it makes getting an orthodontic consultation and an estimate even easier than it's ever been. And so we're going to keep this even after COVID because parents, you know, it's hard to miss work. It's hard to get kids out of school. And so if you're just wondering, you hadn't you had a question like, hey, I wonder how long braces would take or I wonder how much it would cost. You can take a couple selfies with your cell phone, send it into to our website and it's really easy process. And we can tell you how long it would take for braces and what it would cost. Okay, so eventually to get the braces installed, obviously you have to go into the, the dentist's office. So what are all the safety protocols in place? Yeah, the wonderful thing is that the CDC, the American Dental Association, we have some great guidelines for how to make sure that patients are safe when they come into the office. So here at the dental office, uh, it's it's the same as what you would experience if you're going to the hospital. In between every patient, everything is sterilized and, and so it's very, very safe. You were talking about how, you know, parents might have to take off work or something like that, but you have got very convenient hours in lots of locations, right? 
Yeah, that's the big thing. I myself have seven kids and my wife is always telling me that we've got to do something to make it more convenient for busy parents uh, to bring their kids for braces or for dentistry. And so that's what we've done. We have six convenient locations around town. Pretty much anywhere you are in the city, you can find one of our offices. And we're always open in the evenings and on Saturdays as well. All right. The next big question is, what about insurance? Yeah, that's a really easy question to answer because we take all insurances. So any insurance, any PPO insurance that somebody has, uh, if we haven't heard of that type of insurance, we'll, we'll get on the list. But essentially, uh, not only do we accept them, but we are in-network providers for them. All right, we'll go for the icing on the cake right now. What about any specials you're offering right now? Sure. I mean, everybody's looking for a break during COVID, including myself. So right now, uh, you can go to MySmileSelfie.com and register. And if you, uh, when you come into the office, if you just mentioned that you saw this interview, you can get started with braces for $99, no down payment, no credit check. It's as easy as that. Uh, just mention this ad and for $99, you can walk out of our office with a brand new set of braces. Well, once again, as David just mentioned, submit your selfies now at my, my, MySmileSelfie.com for your free braces estimate. Celebrate Dental and Braces is also doing no credit checks, no down payment, and monthly payments as low as 99 bucks. For more information, give them a call at 210-201-1696. Dr. Ferguson, good chatting with you. Good chatting with you. Thanks so much. Hey, next on SA Live, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money for all your Valentine's gifts and decorations. We're going to tell you how you can DIY your L-O-V-E. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there are a lot of exciting things going on in February. First, we tackled, of course, the big game. And now you'll fall in love with these budget-friendly DIY Valentine's Day ideas. They are some neat ideas. And, of course, they are from Stephanie Pena-Faust, who is the local online craft shop owner of Princess and the Monkey. Nate Chris. Moyes gets me. And joins us <laughs> with what we're making for Valentine's. Perfect for the kids, too. It is. It is. Right now, you know, the kids want to do things that are fun, too. And this gives them a good way to kind of do something special that's not your regular little card or little cutout. And all of these things I did get at the dollar store. So it makes it even more affordable. All right. Okay. So You've first, got I've got going. here. So the great thing about this is instead of a card, you can do it a canvas. So do you it a canvas. on your wall. Okay. So you just take, uh, it's, it's a felt cutout that I pre-glued onto the canvas and then you just take your fun you know whatever fun little hearts that you find and you kind of glue them onto there make it your own design and then you take a, a marker and you write your own little message on I it. I love this. I suppose if you wanted to you could even use candy hearts if you're using a hot glue gun and stick. Exactly right? exactly the only thing you want to do is stay away from foam because the glue will melt okay. anything that's styrofoam so on one I use double-sided tape to stick the hearts to it on, mm -hmm. on one of the ones in the center but other than that, you can kind of use whatever you like. All and right. Then for you. The, the next one, and you got these letters from the craft store? From the craft store. They come two to a pack. So as, if you buy one, you, you can make two of them. One, okay. one for you, and, one And as share. well as the little uh, canvases. Right. I like to use the canvases because if you make a mistake, I mean, it's it's not a big budget buster. Okay. And you saw what I held up there in the tees. And this yes. is just a little bit of glue. And you can use the hot glue gun or something. You could use a hot glue gun or you could use regular glue. And you mm -hmm. just do the little edge around it. So you cut out the letters. I use uh, scrapbook paper and I trace the letters onto the scrapbook paper and then cut them out. And then I use like a Mod Podge glue to secure them onto the letters. And then once they're dry, you can decorate away. You can put uh, glitter, you can put other other little hearts, um, kind of whatever you like. And it comes up like that. And that sticks just like that. And then I use twine to attach them together. And it's a cute, fun way to decorate your door your front door, your office door, give to a coworker, give to a friend. You know, I could see this almost hanging from the, uh, maybe the latch on the window right over the kitchen sink or something. Exactly. A, a and it's small enough it. that it's not going to take up a huge space. Right. So if you have a, yeah. a smaller space that you need to put something on where Oops. a wreath might not work, something like this would be even, even right. better. Okay. And so after these two, you yes. have? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to have y'all make Valentine's Day arrangements for each other. So instead of getting, giving flowers, why not give the perfect gift of chocolate and alcohol and <gasps> a little chocolate and alcohol? 
<laughs> I know. And are these going in here? They all go in there. So kind of like how I did this one, you just kind of drop them in kind of however you want. If you want all alcohol, you, you know, take into consideration right. who you're giving it to. <laughs> what, are we doing the same thing? <laughs> yes, I think you are. And then you top it off with, you know, cute little decorations and a mug and a little there you go. <laughs> Is there chocolate in there or you, did you just give me booze? Here, there's chocolate. <laughs> and, and those are great. I, I picked those up at the dollar store as well. And they have a little, a, a cardboard thing so you could write a little message like, I mm -hmm. love you or be mine or you're cute. So you oh, could my. easily write on those and make, um, definitely personalize them. And, uh, you know, it's, I got all the uh, liquor bottles from a local liquor store. You just go in and look for anything pink, and I found all of those fun, different ideas in there. And, and obviously, if you're making this for the kids, but it's so fun just right. to find all these, you know, everything, even the, the little tiny candy bars are all decorated up for Valentine's, and just stuff those all in there. The stores make it perfect. super easy for you to kind of come up with your own personal Valentine's Day gift ideas. It doesn't have to be just a regular bar of chocolate. It could be the heart ones. It could be... The the little personalized ones like that as well. And last but not least, very quickly, the oh, gnomes. gnomes. Gnomes are such a big hit. And these are all ones that I make and I sell at the markets and different shows that I do. And Stephanie's going to be at the Galentine's Day Galentine's brunch. Galentine's Day brunch. At the uh, Botanical Gardens. At the Antonio Botanical Gardens. You can on, buy. On the 14th. On the 14th, you can get tickets to the Botanical Gardens. And they're going to have a fun little market so you can get your last minute Valentine's Day gifts there and have a wonderful brunch out there. It's a beautiful place. Oh, wonderful. Stephanie Kenya Frost from Princess and the Monkey. Go to our website, mm -hmm. salive.com, and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab. Good seeing you. Thank Good you so seeing much. You Thank you so much. All right. Next on the show, there's lots of people who you could use a little extra love, including our troops. How you can join the effort making sure they aren't forgotten on Valentine's Day, that's coming up on SA Live. Have we got deals for you? Welcome to ksatdeals.com. Now this next deal will help you to create those flawless pictures every time, and we are gonna give it a try today. This home streaming studio by Aduro Ustream Lite is here to help you upgrade the quality of your photos and videos. Now right now we have the ring light focused on me, and I'm gonna turn this one on. There you go, it's as simple as that. Turns on via remote to help you make your Zoom meetings perfect and your selfies flawless. They have three lighting options, white warm yellow and warm white so you always have the perfect light 10 levels of brightness an adjustable tripod comes with it along with the remote control and a non-slip rubber rubber grip to securely hold your phone while streaming now don't worry about batteries it is USB powered the retail price $99 the case at deals price $49.99 that is a 50% discount you can find this deal and many more case at deals.com Valentine's Day when thinking about spreading the love you might want to think about our soldiers. Our military members miss out on lots of holidays including Valentine's Day and Amy Palmer with Soldiers Angels joins us to tell us how you can send love to men and women serving our country. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. All right Amy tell us a little bit about Valentine's for Veterans. Sure. So Soldiers Angels is a national nonprofit. Um, we are headquartered here in San Antonio, so we support deployed, wounded, and veterans of all generations. So the Valentine's for Veterans, um, it is our Valentine's Day campaign. The Valentine's will, some will go to deploy service members, and some of them will go to local VAs. Um, fortunately, because we're here in San Antonio locally, um, you know, it's it's faster for us to get them, and, we, and people could even drop them off in our office here locally so that we can get them to our deployed and our veterans. And this year, along with the Valentine, you're asking for a donation as well, right? Yeah, so the reason we do that is to just really kind of um, help control the volume. You know, in prior years, you know, when deployments were at their peak, we were getting three or 400,000 cards uh, for each occasion. And so the, with the deployments drawn down, there just isn't a need for them in that quantity. So we do ask for the donation, which helps kind of control the volume and to make sure that we're able to use all the cards we actually get. So some of them that are received earlier, will have time to get overseas to deploy it and the rest will be used for um, hospitalized veterans right here in San Antonio. So as far as donations, you know, even a dollar, right? But what about folks who may not want to send a dollar through the mail? 
you know, people can donate online and just indicate us for Valentine's for Vets in the comment section that they're mailing them. Um, a lot of people will send um, checks and, and some people do send cash. So it's up to them how they want to do that. Um, you know, a lot of businesses and schools and, and groups will actually make one, one contribution or one check for all the cards that they're sending in together. What kind of response have you gotten from, you know, service members and veterans? Oh, they love the Valentine's for Veterans. You know, a lot of them don't really expect anything for Valentine's Day. It's kind of a forgotten holiday when it comes to being deployed or hospitalized. And so for them to receive those special um, little items is really kind of a, a special surprise. And, you know, especially when little kids make them, because sometimes they'll put little Valentine's candies with them or, um, or stickers on them. And it's really cute to get something that's really custom and unique. Are you looking for any virtual volunteers? We are, uh, you know, all the time we're looking for virtual volunteers. We actually have volunteers here in our office in San Antonio. We only schedule a couple a day just to make sure that we're uh, maintaining safe distancing and such. And we're also at minimum manning and staff for that same sort of reason. So we are having volunteers in our office, but we do have a lot of great virtual volunteer opportunities that are advertised on our website at soldiersangels.org. There's a giant volunteer button and there's tons of opportunities. All right, so tell folks what they need to do to get started and pop that letter of love in the mail. Yeah, so they can go to soldiersangels.org to either donate, to volunteer, and right at the bottom of the homepage, there's a highlight about Valentine's for Vets and ask all of the information and frequently asked questions um, about the program. And of course, we thank all of our military members for their service. Amy Palmer with Soldiers Angels, thank you so much for your time. For more information on this, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much, Amy, and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you, you as well. Next on SA Live, are you running out of ways to keep the kids busy at home? How you can help them have fun for hours and inspire their imagination. Stay with us. and the weather, your family is probably getting a little bit of cabin fever, right? So if you've been feeling the stress, your children probably have been too. Chris Byrne, AKA the Toy Guy, is here with some fun ideas to help your children refocus their energy in creative and calming ways. Welcome, Chris. Oh, well, it's nice to be with zen. you. I hope you're getting out a little bit at least. <laughs> Okay, kids get stressed out, of course, just like us. So what do we do with all that energy? Well, I think the first thing you want to do is, is assume that don't be surprised that this is a cabin fever season like we've never had before because it's all the accumulation of 10 months. But play. Okay, so I got some great stuff to show you. This is one of the most unlikely hits of the year. This is called Handy Grabs. As you can see, it's a long, long arm extending kind of thing. You can reach out and you can play. And of course, this is the kind of thing I would have annoyed my brothers with nonstop. But it's also good for reaching things. You can make up games. Uh, this is from Hog Wild. It's about 10 bucks. All right. So how can we help get their minds off what's happening right now? Well, one of the great things is, is about using imagination. You know how athletes always envision something before they, before they do it? The imagination works the same way, and arts and crafts and creative expression are really fun. Whoops, I just lost some of my toys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have we have a great thing called the Dino Amazing, which is really uh, there. We go. We have a great thing called the Dino Amazing, which is actually an egg decorating set. You turn on the motor, and it'll spin the egg. You can see the egg is spinning there, and you decorate it. And once you've decorated it, you open it up, and of course, you're going to find slime inside it. So there's slime. There's a model. There's all kinds of great ways that kids can play with it. Uh, just a super fun way to have a lot of fun with that as well. But you know. One of the other great things about, about uh, play is using, as I was saying, using that imagination to think that you're going on the road somewhere. So this is a character, this is a brand new character called Bluey. He's from, uh, he's from Australia. And what's cool about him, it's all about a family. And of course, the family is going on their vacations. We've got the super cool characters as well. So it's a good way for kids to be engaged and, and having a good time and playing family because they really are staying, spending a lot of time within the family right now. 
Because as you just mentioned, it, it, it is all about imagination and of course encouraging that creativity, right? Right. Right. And you know, one of the other things is if you're inside a lot, you really want to be able to get outside and do things, but you, you may not be able to. So you want physical things to do. And a lot of silliness is really important. We, we found these guys, these are called poppers. They're from, uh, they're, it's called the Yeti popper. And basically he's got a foam ball in it. And when I squeeze him, that's going to shoot about 20 feet. So again, it's like releasing some of that energy and having a really good time with it as well. Oh, Chris Byrne, the toy guy, thank you so much for your time and those fantastic ideas. Where can folks go for more information? Uh, we've got more on thetoyguy.com and all of these and where you can buy them as well. All right, Chris, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Uh, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> Tomorrow <laughs> on SA Live, it's a Thirsty Thursday shaking up game day cocktail kits from Suck It Up SA. Plus... Local bakery, Cakes Couture, is going to be making a king cake, and they're going to reveal their new Cajun recipe that is quite unique, to say the least. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live.